President of the New York State Trooper PBA is responding to some of the police reforms passed by the state legislature this week and signed by the governor today. News Channel 34's Karina Capabianca has more on what Thomas Mungir had to say. One of the big changes the governor signed off on today was the repeal of 50A, which shields police disciplinary records. Meanwhile, the New York State Troopers PBA president is calling the repeal disappointing. Congratulations, the bills are signed. Some of the bills acted on by the governor today ban chokeholds by law enforcement, prohibit false race-based 911 reports, and repeal 50A. In a statement, a spokesperson at the Legal Aid Society said, Finally, after years of advocacy, New York has struck down one of the nation's most secretive laws, a law that shielded police misconduct from public scrutiny. Under the new law, home addresses, personal phone numbers, and email addresses of officers and their families are protected. But some lawmakers have argued that it doesn't provide police due process. To have that totally uh, repealed and carved out of the civil rights law, I, I think, was uh, unfair and uh, definitely, uh, you know, took took away my members' rights uh, as troopers. One bill the governor hasn't signed off on yet requires state troopers to wear body cameras. We're not against whatsoever having body cameras, and I think with the repeal of 50A, with the release of personnel jackets, I think it now gives us a video record of many of uh, the unfounded uh, complaints that come in that are just totally false. But it comes at a cost. It has to be new funding and it's uh, astronomical when you look at the the, uh, the storage fees and, and what it takes to uh, retain this data. And now with the, the FOIL requests coming in, uh, though the state police will have to add uh, numerous personnel to keep up with that. Mungir estimates that the cost of the body cameras per year could be 15 to 20 million dollars. Reporting in Albany, Karina Capabianca.